These fish were quarantined for 30 days prior to their release. It's the first step in introducing various fish species into the exhibit. We're doing a pre-opening because we just wanted to put these beautiful tuna in that you're seeing now before that main opening to the public which will happen on Thursday the 16th of June. But we wanted these fish just to be able to settle down before we move the rest of the fish on Wednesday. The exhibit at the VNA waterfront holds 1,7 million litres of seawater at a temperature of between 20 and 24 degrees Celsius. It has a depth of 6 metres. The 22-ton exhibit is also the first of its kind in South Africa to boast a full 10-metre-long tunnel. It has been named after its long-time partner and founder, INJ. We've been involved with uh, the uh, Two Oceans Aquarium since its inception, so 21 years. Uh, we were involved in the, in the shark tank um, and uh, we've ma migrated to this ocean exhibit. Um, I guess it's the beginning of a new era for the aquarium and it's a wonderful opportunity for Irvin and Johnson and we're very proud to be associated and to continue our association with the aquarium. The opening of the exhibition coincides with the introduction of this jelly house to the public. Various fish species such as giant guitar fish, rays, yoshi and the loggerhead turtle will form part of the exhibition. The old INJ Predator exhibit which has graced the aquarium for more than two decades, will be closed for renovations until next year. Mlamli Maneli, SABC News, Cape Town.